everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are jumping into the BitLife save file and I am so excited because it is Christmas for the royal family and I have so much planned. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, so I hope you're all looking forward to it. I did a lot of research for what the royal family does during Christmas time and I think it'll just be nice to have the family back at home. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So in the last episode, we actually aged up this handsome guy, little Edmund. He is the cutest little guy in the whole world and um, he turned out really well. He made a few friends with the family in Norway. So when we went to Norway, we actually met the royal family. So little Edmund made friends with Princess Nika, which is very exciting. And Lottie got to meet um, the princess and as well as the prince and Queen Sonia and King Harold. So, you know, it was a really great visit. I'm going to do a quick recap. We left off at the age of 45 years old in BitLife. Um, Edmund started primary school, so we aged him up. Christian got his archaeology degree and also became a magician on a boat, <laughs> which sounds like something uh, someone who just got out of college would do. Um, other than that, we spent time with people. We really didn't do a whole lot of anything else. And other than that, we joined a bunch of social medias and she's been posting on Instagram and all of that fun stuff. So in today's episode, we are gonna be doing Christmas. Like I said, I can foresee potentially two age ups. We'll have a new toddler, little Spencer, and we also will have um, Phoebe maybe age up into a kiddo today. We'll have to see how things go. Uh, as you can see out here, we have had all of our staff decorate the royal castle in Lottie's favorite colors like crazy. It is so beautiful when it is lit up at night. So um, I have gone ahead and I have uh, decorated the house uh, for the holidays and I'm pretty excited about it. I didn't go too crazy because I knew it would be a pain to clean it up. But like in the hallway, I put the purple Christmas trees with the snow on here because I just feel like that is something Lottie would do for sure. And then we also have them here in the front entrance way. We have a Christmas tree for the family to decorate together. Uh, more Christmas decorations near the family wall of beautiful photos. Oh, I just love it. Um, we have lots of trees and decorations pretty much everywhere. Uh, I put a Christmas tree in almost every room because we have extended the invitation to a bunch of royal families to um, join us for our Christmas celebrations. Each one of the kids have their own Christmas tree with piles of presents to open on Christmas Day because they obviously are super spoiled. But it is very important to Lottie that she instills the real importance of the holiday with her children, along with the fact that, you know, they are royals. So it is their duty to serve, not just to be spoiled in all this wealth. So she wants to make sure that that is instilled in her children. We have a baby who is crying and Nanny Hillary is not doing a great job at taking care of the baby. How did he get over here? Oh, this is his room. <laughs> Change dirty diaper. She just sits there staring at him. Even Edmund's like, excuse me, Nanny Hillary. I think you're supposed to actually like take care of the baby. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and age Lottie up first. Oh my gosh, why do all my kids keep getting pneumonia? Oh my gosh, and why is our butts always itchy? Okay, we'll go to the doctor. Uh, we will go see uh, Dr. Crawley. We've been diagnosed with itchy bottom. Please treat me. Okay, we've been cured from itchy bottom. Oh my gosh. Okay, the Sheffield Globe published an article titled Royal Rump on Rampage, which claims you have uncontrollable flatulence. <laughs> what will you do? Oh my gosh. Uh, we'll just ignore it. Okay, so Duke, Frankie, and I have been married for 10 years. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe we have been married for that long. Mel Gibson began following us on social media. We have to take our daughter to the doctor. Again, Dr. Crawley, and we'll treat her for her pneumonia. 
Okay, both the kids are cured from their pneumonia. So how old does that make little Phoebe? That makes her four and uh, little Spencer is two. So I think we will age up Spencer right away here into a toddler. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful the big purple Christmas tree looks out here at night. So cool. Um, yeah, I think we'll age up the toddler, uh, Spencer, so that way when we go to do all of the events we're going to do in the next couple days here in the game, uh, we can take him with us. So I'll have Lottie come over here and go more, and we will age up the little cutie. I'm so excited! I'll have to go under Spencer here so we can see what he looks like. So when I click on Spencer here, he's got look smarts and health. Um, oh, I like that he's inquisitive. That I think that suits him. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Um, so I want to go under uh, edit him just so I can see what color of hair he has. He's got black hair and brown eyes too. Oh my gosh, he looks so much like his brother. So let's jump in to create a sim so we can see what little Spencer's gonna look like. Honestly, I was really hoping he was gonna be blonde like Lottie, but that's okay. I think he's gonna be super cute. His looks are super high in bit life also. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him a makeover and when I'm done, I will be back. Okay, so I just finished Spencer's makeover. He's so cute. He honestly looks so much like his brother, but I still feel like he has his own individuality. Um, now I feel like he might be, um, I just see these two being best friends. Like I can't see, because he doesn't have to necessarily be the heir, you know, he's gonna be able to be a little bit more chill, have a little bit more fun in life, and you know, he's probably really going to support and push Edwin into that direction. So I feel like he's gonna be like a bad influence. So I feel like together they're just gonna be best friends. Uh, so for his formal, I gave him like a Christmassy vibe just because of the fact we're going into Christmas. So might as well have a cute uh, Christmas outfit for all of the events. His sleep, oh my God, how cute is this kiddo? And his party. Like I said, less pressure is put on him so he can be way more himself. Uh, and his cold weather, I did a Christmas look also. That way they can get some cute Christmas family photos. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm loving that. We should put some cute little tights on her. Let's do green. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And there's mom for Christmas. Look at her little shoes with the red bow. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So I think the family is pretty much ready for Christmas, but now I'm like, Ugh, Edmund, you have to have a Christmas uh, sweater. <laughs> he'll, he'll put a red sweater on for us. Okay, there we go. So the family is ready for all of the giving. So I'm so excited. In the morning, this family is actually going to go do a uh, royal meet and greet. They are actually going to be meeting orphan kids at a Christmas market. Um, and they are going to be giving out gifts and basically trying to connect with the people because Lottie wants to teach her kids that uh, you know, most people are not nearly as fortunate as they are and she wants to make sure that they are appreciative of what they have. Okay, so um, it's 5.30 in the morning and this little dude is starving and once again our butler, our maid, our nanny is doing nothing. She's downstairs eating yogurt. She drives me crazy, but I'm gonna have her come over here and give food to Spencer, please. So she's working on getting this little cutie fed. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. His little bear outfit, Lottie's on it. I think we're gonna fire the nanny. She sucks at helping us, so I think we're just gonna fire the nanny. Meanwhile, this kid has been up all night eating popcorn, eating chips, and watching movies instead of going to sleep. What a little turkey. He is feeling a little bit sad because he's not as popular as he once was but his mom and dad are going to take care of that. I'm gonna get Frankie to come up and talk to Edmund. 
You know, today's a really important event. A lot of kids don't have the same toys that you have, and you know, we want to make sure that they feel loved just like you are. So he's given his son a hug. He's like, you know, it's so important to always give back to the people and always look for opportunities to be good to others. And you know, it's just really important. And another thing that I think that Frankie would really install, instill in his children is the importance of education because of the fact, you know, he's a librarian, he loves reading. I think they're frozen, yeah, there we go. So I think he would also say, you know, make sure you try hard at school and, you know, do your best. Like, yes, you have a lot of stuff already handed to you, but, you know, one day you're going to rule the country. You want to have a good basic knowledge of the world and how other people live, not just how you live. Because, like I said, this isn't reality, kid. Like, this is, you know, a one-off situation that most people don't have. <laughs> so I think Frankie just wants to make sure that he is like, you know, make sure you really, you know, focus at school. Uh, speaking of school, I don't think we had Frankie or Edmund do his homework, no. So I think we're going to get him to do his homework really quick. And I'm going to get Frankie to have him go parent... I think I'm gonna get, and I'll have Frankie actually help him with his homework so it goes faster. That way he's not too late for school. So Edmund is feeling super focused right now. His dad is helping him with his homework and then he will go off to school. And then when he gets home, they are going to go to the Christmas market on a Friday evening and do some family service and, you know, help out people less fortunate than ourselves. Okay, so pretty much everyone is ready to go. I just have those two woohooing quickly. Looks like Edmund had a really good day at school. He made a few friends, so he became, fr uh, he met this girl here, Haruka, at school, so that makes me really happy. I think he's really looking forward to seeing Princess Nika at the dinner party tomorrow. I went ahead and I did um, a dinner party and I invited everybody, so that'll be really nice for everyone to be able to hang out and spend time together. I also invited the toddlers from Denmark. So Phoebe and little Spencer will be able to visit with them. Look at him eating his little food in his bear costume. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to travel with all of the kids and our husband and we are gonna go to the Christmas market to meet with the orphans and the families that are in need and give back. Okay, so we just arrived at the Christmas market. Oh my gosh, she's gotta pee really bad, but look at everyone in their Christmas outfits. So this is the Christmas market. How cool is this build? This was uh, found on the gallery. I literally just looked up Christmas market and they've surrounded the whole thing with Christmas paintings. So it looks like there's like a lot more going on than there actually is, which I think is very, very cool. So there's a little girl here, so I'm gonna have Edmund come over and give a friendly gift. He's gonna give her a little butterfly because his mom asked him, you know, like he's like, here you go, you know, I hope that this gift will make your holiday season better. You know, I wanna make sure that you have toys too. Oh, I think that really made her happy. Okay, so I just got back. I got rid of the, um, <laughs> I got rid of the Christmas tree so everyone can actually skate. And Lottie is skating around like a total queen. She looks so cute in her little Christmas outfit. And of course, like I said, this is a way for the royal family to connect with the community and, you know, reach out and also show them that, hey, like, we're just like you, except we're really rich, but we really want people to feel loved and seen. And I think Edmund is, or, and I think I'm going to get um, little Frankie to go around. Maybe he should get some handmade candles. I'll get him to buy that because that's really cute. I think he's going to buy that for his wife. That way, um, there's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have him buy that too. So he's getting a couple really cute Christmas presents. I think he wants to get a snow globe for the kiddos. So he's doing a little bit of Christmas shopping and of course the public are like, wow, like you're supporting small business. Oh look, he's like totally fawning over her. <laughs> So I'm going to get Phoebe to talk about toys and I'm going to get her to give a loving hug to her little brother. <gasps> oh my gosh, the cutest moment's about to happen. 
Oh, let's pause. I have to get a picture. Oh my gosh, they're so cute at the Christmas market. Oh, that is so sweet. Um, everybody is like, wow, Frankie, you're such a great dancer. So I think that it went really well. Edmund definitely gave out a few gifts. They, you know, bought some stuff from the market. The kids had fun and, you know, they were able to be with their fans. So I'm just going to get Lottie to go ahead and have a snowball fight with Edmund and Frankie because I just feel like that would be so super cute. So I'm just going to let them have a little bit of a snowball fight. Oh, she really took Frankie out. <laughs> oh. I really love this family bonding time. I think that it's so great. Oh, I just love this family. And I love how fabulous this girl looks. I have to admit, she's so cute. Okay, so the family is back home. Oh my gosh, flirty common ground to build a relationship. Oh, from comfortably compatible lifestyles. That is so interesting. Duke Frankie found that sharing a lifestyle with Duchess Lottie only deepened the attraction that Duke Frankie feels. Oh my gosh! So it is the next day and it is um, 9 o'clock. The royal family slept in a little, but I really want them to decorate the Christmas tree with Edmund. So I'm hoping that Lottie will come down at least and do it. So he and his mom are going to spend some time together with the Christmas tree and his mom is going to, uh, can we uh, decorate with ornaments, red and gold with Edmund and they will decorate the tree together and while they're decorating, Lottie is just going to talk to Edmund, you know, about the importance of his role and, you know, always trying to make sure that he is being a good example to his younger siblings and, you know, that one day he is going to be the king of the country. So, you know, it's really important to know, um, it's really important to know, you know, all of the family traditions and, you know, why they're so important, you know, like what the royal family represents to the rest of the world and, you know, when they do all these different traditions for, whether it's for holidays or whether it's in honor of memorial for, you know, fallen soldiers, whatever the event is, you know, it's so important because, you know, they represent something to the country that, you know, he is the heir of. So look, his responsibility's going up and he's understanding what that means. And so he's gonna say, you know, I know mom, I'm gonna try my best, I promise. You know, I I love being, you know, I like learning and stuff. I feel like it'll be good. So, you know, Lottie's trying really hard. Oh, look at it glistening here, so pretty. There, so we've got the Christmas tree. It's definitely unique looking. Oh, look at this. Sorry to bother you, but I have heard that you are a great per what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to charity? Absolutely. We love donating. Oh my gosh, look now. He's cleaning up the plates. I love this. I love what a great dad Frankie is. He is seriously always here with his kiddos. I think we will go ahead and age uh, Lottie up one more year. Contempt. While attending a red carpet event, you witness a commoner throwing trash on the ground. What will you do? Oh my gosh. I'm going to ignore it because I don't want anybody. My daughter, Marchinus Phoebe, um, started primary school. I thought that was going to be the case. So um, we will end off the episode with the quick age up of little Phoebe. So I think the house is pretty much ready. Oh my gosh. Why are you just walking... I gotta get rid of that bathtub. Everyone keeps bathing in it. I feel like little Edmund might be a little like shy and like a little bit worried. I'm gonna actually, let's start the dinner party. Hopefully everyone will change into their fancy outfits. What did she chose? Oh yeah, that's a good outfit. Good for you, girl. Um, I would like to get Frankie to uh, come over here and go more, help blow out the candles and we will get him to age up little Phoebe. And all of our guests should be arriving here. Ah, here we go. So 
We've got Christian. He got some time off from the cruise business. We've got the beautiful uh, Nika, who dyed her hair black, apparently. She is supposed to be a brunette or a, a blonde. Yeah, her hair went black for all of her outfits. I'll just put her in her cold weather. There we go. She's so cute. I think Edmund and her are going to be really good friends. So yeah, everybody is heading to the dinner party. We've got lots of food, so I'm not too worried about that. And we have Frankie bringing Phoebe over to age her up. I'm so excited to see Phoebe. I think she's going to be so cute. Oh, she felt she aged up facing the other way um, okay so Phoebe I don't know what about Phoebe yet so I'm gonna give her cat lover for right now because we know how much she loves being uh, loves animals and I think we'll give her the creativity trait she aged up with the exact same hair as um, the other little princess so that's funny and oh look the queen of denmark is here she's so oh she looks angry <laughs> oh my god oh this is not what i wanted the queen taking a mud bath at our house i mean like i'm glad you're comfortable it's just not really what i was expecting <laughs> oh that's so awkward um we have jude coming um oh look we have the prince of denmark and the princess of denmark <laughs> I feel like that would make Lottie so happy. I think we'll go ahead and jump in to create a sim and give her her makeover really quick. Okay, so I think she's actually gonna be so super cute once the makeover is done. I really love her. So I will go give her her makeover and I will be back. Okay, so I just finished Phoebe's makeover. I only did two outfits because I've been filming for two hours and it's my second video today. So I'm like, my hands, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> So this is her everyday look. Again, she loves cats, so I gave her her little kitty ears and just a really casual outfit. And then for her formal, she has like a little tiara and I don't know why, but this dress just made me feel like it looked like something a UK duchess would wear. I don't know, I just thought it was so cute. So. Um, those are the only two looks I've done for her so far and of course in the next episode I will make sure to have all of her outfits ready in time. So there is the adorable little cutie pie patootie. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. So I think I'm going to get Lottie to go ahead and give a gift to her guests. I think I'll give her the teal and black women's sweater dress. I think that's something that the princess would like. It seems to be the color she likes. So Lottie's so tired, but she's gonna come over and give a Christmas gift to the princess of Denmark. For me? I think these two are actually pretty good friends. I think she gets along with the Denmark princess a lot better than the Norway princess. Oh, she definitely liked it, I think it says. So she's really happy from good company, a sim that she's liked, and look, giving spirit. That's awesome. And we will give the Prince of Norway, uh, we have the sweater that she bought also, the men's sweater, so hopefully he'll like that. Okay, so she is giving the Prince of Norway his gift. I think he liked it. Yeah, he liked that. That's awesome. Here's Queen Madison. So I'm sure Madison's really happy. I think I'm going to have her come over and give a gift to mom. Mom's really hard to please. I'm not going to lie. Uh, what would mom like? I don't think mom would like any of this stuff if I'm being completely honest. We'll give her the little, little hanging plant though. So we're gonna give mom a gift. So under relationships, under mother, we will have a compliment. Uh, she says we're stellar. We'll give her a bottle of vodka. I feel like she'd like that. <laughs> of course Madison would appreciate that. 
Looks like Madison and uh, the Queen of Denmark are, oh look, they're taking a picture together. Oh, that makes me so happy. So I'm gonna get Edmund to come over and give a Christmas gift to little Princess Nika. Yeah, little Princess Nika, that makes me so happy. And I do want Phoebe to do a friendly introduction with Nika as well. Oh, the little toddlers are here. Isn't she so cute? I love her so much. I think she's so unique looking. So Edmund's giving her a gift. I hope that she'll like it from me. Oh good, I do think she liked it. Good, so we've said hello to her and Edmund's like, wait a minute, I'm trying to talk to her. I'll, these two need to age up because these two were toddlers uh, when we went to Denmark. Uh, so we will have to age them up before the next episode so that the kids have a group of all their friends. So I feel like Lottie had a very successful Christmas dinner party. I think everyone had a really good time, but they are all leaving now. But I'm really happy that the kids were able to make some friends. So that makes me really happy. We had Phoebe age up and also Edmund learned the importance of, you know, giving and sharing and loving and not only during the Christmas spirit but just as a royal you know slowly learning his duties of you know being someone who serves others and cares for others not for himself um, I do feel like as he gets older that pressure is really gonna weigh on him and he is gonna try his absolute best to manage the world of mega fame wealth um, and you know responsibility with also wanting to just have fun and be a normal teenage boy <laughs> I think it's gonna be hard uh, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode if you did please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and until next time I'm gonna say bye for now yes, every time the snow is